Good afternoon, everyone. It is so exciting to welcome President Biden to Pueblo to see all of the exciting work building the green energy economy, creating good, clean jobs right here in Pueblo. Pueblo really reflects who we are as Coloradans. It's so great to be back here at CS Winds. I got to join CS Wind for the ribbon cutting not too long ago. <clears throat> it's amazing to see this move from the legacy Vestas facility for 450 employees. Now we're at seven or 800, uh, heading to 12, 1300 when the construction is fully complete. Uh, not only providing great jobs here in Pueblo, but powering low cost energy for Colorado and beyond, for important for our national security, important to keep energy costs low and reduce electricity bills, uh, and important to make sure our air is cleaner. Uh, we're proud here in Pueblo that, thanks to Mayor Gratisar's leadership, we can really be examples for others to follow. Historic investments from the Biden administration, supported by Senator Bennett, Senator Hickenlooper. In Colorado, across our state, we have focused on maximizing the impact of this historic one-time federal investment, and that includes the bipartisan infrastructure law, the Inflation Reduction Act. We're creating capacity in local communities. We have some state support and matching funds to draw down additional federal funds. In just the last year, we've uh, attracted more than a billion dollars in clean energy investments alone to Colorado to support solar and wind and battery manufacturing, and we're continuing that work to draw down additional investment. We're also so excited that President Biden has prioritized uh, passenger rail, and we know that with investments like IIJA, we'll soon be able to make front range rail a reality here in Pueblo. And again, thanks to the work of our two senators and our president, billions more are coming to Colorado to support not only state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities for the green energy economy like CS Wind, but also a technology and support to mitigate wildfires, uh, saving Coloradans money on electric vehicles, or helping support school districts uh, switching to lower cost electric vehicles, saving money on diesel fuel, support to make our electric grid more resilient and reliable, and building out the electric vehicle infrastructure. We're pursuing every opportunity we can as a state to attract this historic funding to Colorado. We've come a long way. We know there's a lot of work ahead. With this federal funding, with a partnership with President Biden, the administration, Colorado will continue to push the limits on what's possible, drive innovation here in Pueblo and beyond, creating good jobs for Coloradans and helping to make sure that Colorado is at the very center of powering America's future. Thank you.